And just like that, we're back with Spectrum Cable. A revival of sorts, trying out the new Spectrum Zumo Stream Box. And I'm happy to report it does come with a real paper manual, just like in the olden days. The box itself is very lightweight, very compact. In fact, it only has three ports on the back. From left to right, it has Ethernet if you want wired internet. You can also use Wi-Fi, and it has HDMI in the middle and power on the right. Note it does not come with its own Ethernet cable. Also in the box, it comes with its own very nice HDMI cable, power supply, and the remote. I'm so happy to have a remote that reminds me of the old days. This one has buttons that you can feel and you can know your way around just by holding it in your hand where you are on the remote without having to look at it. It also has a speak to search button which is really handy. And a nice touch from Spectrum, they came, it came loaded with two batteries. So setup is pretty easy. You plug it in, you connect the HDMI cable to your television, and like I said before, optionally you can connect an Ethernet cable to your network to the back of the Zumo box or just use the Wi-Fi that's in the configuration setup. On the bottom of the unit is a very small power button to tell you if it's on or off. This is what it looks like when it comes up. You can select your language, which is nice, but unfortunately it's only English and Spanish. And you can select to have voice guidance assistance, which is really nice where the, where the actual unit will speak back to you. And this is great for accessibility. It's a wonderful feature to have in such a lightweight box. You can also train the remote to connect to your TV so it powers your TV on and off and does volume up and down and other things, which is really handy. So really you can get away with a single remote. This next part of the setup is a bit like a ping pong match. You have to accept the privacy agreement, then you have to link a six digit code up to your web browser, go to the Zumo website, punch the code in, they send you an email. The email has a verification, which sends you back to the website. There's a step in there where Zumo asks for your credit card and for payment information, but I would skip that. That's not from Spectrum, unless you want to purchase things from Zumo. I would skip that. And last but not least, we choose Spectrum as our provider. And finally, we get to log in to the app. After we hit another disclaimer. And once you're logged in, the guide is very familiar. The only thing that's really lacking here is there's no page up, page down. But it is nice because the remote has numbers on it and these channels are numbered, unlike a lot of apps today. The load time of the content too is remarkably fast. I'd say it's on par with what I get on my antenna. It's hardly noticeable. Since this is not a traditional cable box, I stitched together some of the screens you can expect to see when you boot up the unit for the first time or when you boot it up after it's been powered off, just to give you an idea. So what does it cost? A pleasant surprise. Basically what they did was some financial wizardry to take my old bill, reduce it slightly enough to squeeze in this uh, Spectrum Zumo box with the Spectrum channels and basically get the bill to come out the same. The one big surprise, and it's a very positive surprise, is that the taxes aren't huge. If you remember on my other video when I tried out the Spectrum cable box, the taxes and surcharges were huge. So on the like side, we really like that the power on channel is configurable. You can set it up the way you want so that every time it comes on, it comes on where you want it to be. Um, the speakable search, the one touch power down for both the TV and the box, and really it's just a nice, easy, more passive device to use than, say, an Apple TV. On the dislike side, it's confusing when you power it up to know if you're in the Zumo content or the Spectrum content because Zumo has the operating system, but that's not the worst thing in the world. But overall, I'd say this is a step in the right direction. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or click the bell button to subscribe and be notified when new videos come out.